Criminal referrals have been made in the ongoing Lectern Gate scandal in Arkansas. This is where MAGA Republican Arkansas Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders has been investigated for a potentially fraudulent purchase of a lectern using state funds to the extent a lectern was even purchased for approximately $19,000 paid to one of Huckabee Sanders' close friends, Virginia Beckett. At around the same time, they were partying together in Paris, and Virginia Beckett is not someone who actually deals in the sale of lecterns. A legislative joint auditing committee released their report on Monday, and that report makes a referral to the 6th Judicial District Prosecuting Attorney and the Attorney General for potential criminal uh, charges arising out of crimes committed relating to this lectern gate fraud. Now, the Attorney General of Arkansas is a MAGA plant, but the 6th Judicial District Prosecuting Attorney may take action. Additionally, uh, it is widely believed that there is an ongoing federal investigation into the potential fraud being committed by uh, MAGA Republican Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders of Arkansas. I want to take a look at the report. Um, want to also share with you a statement issued by Tom Mars, a conservative attorney from Arkansas, but a real conservative, not one of these MAGAs. And Tom Mars is apparently representing some of the whistleblowers uh, in connection with Lectern Gate who may or may not be uh, currently cooperating uh, with uh, federal investigators because asked whether federal law enforcement was looking into these matters regarding Sarah Huckabee Sanders' potential fraudulent lectern purchase from one of her best friends, Mars responded, quote, I'm not trying to be evasive, but I can't answer that. He noted that a grand jury subpoena explicitly warns against disclosing even the receipt of such a subpoena. So from that, you could either infer or not infer that there is currently a federal grand jury engaged in a potential criminal investigation into Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And boy, is this independent legislative audit damning. Here's the official statement also from Tom Mars regarding the legislative audit report on Lecterngate. Mars writes, regardless of one's party affiliation, no one from Arkansas could be happy about what's spelled out in the audit report. In my opinion, the report just confirms people's worst fears about the dishonesty of the governor and members of her staff who appear to have participated in a transaction that any intelligent objective objective observer would describe as fraud. That said, it's a sad day for Arkansans who care about truth, integrity in government, and don't believe in making exceptions for politicians from either party. And now, when you go through this legislative audit, it talks about here how uh, even if this were a falcon lectern that was purchased, the top of the line Falcon lectern. You're talking about something that would cost between $7,000, and if it's maybe customizable, maybe a few thousand dollars more than that. We also don't believe this was a Falcon lectern still. It seems to be kind of a Falcon lectern knockoff, but just assume for the sake of argument, this was seven to $10,000. One, why are you spending that money of Arkansas state funds to purchase this lectern in the first place? Why are you paying it through your best friend who is not somebody who actually deals with lecterns or lectern sales? Why was it happening at the same time you were partying with her, um, with your friend in June? And there are numerous areas of non-compliance with Arkansas state law that was found here including uh, here are some of the potential legal violations that have been referred for potential prosecution. Payment for the podium before it was delivered resulted in a potential violation of Arkansas Code Section 19-4-1206B3B 
by the bonded dispersing officer. The podium purchase was applied to operating expenses in potential noncompliance with Arkansas law section 19-4-522 sub D sub 1 sub N, which does not allow for the purchase of equipment subject to capitalization to be allocated to operating expenses. DTSS was not notified of the delivery, which prohibited the transaction from being properly recorded and capitalized within their system. The formal purchasing documents or a detailed invoice was not obtained prior to payment to ensure the podium met custom height specifications in potential noncompliance of Arkansas law. An exemption from the state procurement director for disposal of state property was not sought, nor was credit for state property requested from DFA in potential noncompliance with Arkansas law. Instead, the governor's office directly sought reimbursement for the podium in case from the Republican Party of Arkansas. Um, the bill of lading was shredded by a member of the governor's office in potential violation of requirements for document retention. The business expense justification statement was not created by the governor's office staff on the day the podium was purchased in potential violation of Arkansas law. During review of the FOIA request released to the podium purchased, the uh, independent legislative audit discovered three versions of the Beckett events invoices, two of which contain the handwritten notations to be reimbursed LH. The executive assistant to the governor's office, deputy chief of staff, made the handwritten notations, altering the public record after it was entered into the system, the invoicing system, on June 28th, 2023, in potential conflict with language expressed in Arkansas Code, Section 554-121, which basically means that you are um, destroying, manipulating, fabricating uh, state documents. So if you go through these things, I mean, you're talking about the purchase itself violated Arkansas law. You're talking about the shredding of documents here in violation of Arkansas law and I think federal law. And you're also talking about the uh, the fabrication, alteration, and tampering with uh, government records and government property in violation of Arkansas and federal law. So these are very, very serious things. Now, Sarah, B, Sarah Huckabee Sanders responded, um, and what she did was she posted a video, and I'm not going to, I'll play the video now and I'll describe what's happening. I can't play the full video because she stole, I mean, it's, it's interesting in a lectern gate fraud thing, that she stole the music from Jay-Z and basically made a like a mini rap video supercut about the podium. And you'll see right now it says, come take it from us, come take the podium from us. And so also apparently engaging in copyright infringement. And again, the music's playing over this video and I'm not gonna play it because of the obvious copyright uh, aspects of it there. But this is the very unserious response of Sarah Huckabee Sanders. And this is just keeping in line with what she and all of them, you know, it's part of what MAGA kind of the, the MAGA unseriousness um, of Trumpism, right? One of the things they did last week, you may have seen my report, she had her MAGA attorney general write an opinion that says that the um, Arkansas budgetary laws don't apply to her and that she essentially has immunity from Arkansas budgetary laws. And then once she's caught in violation of all of these laws, they make this, they like celebrate the violation. And then they make like a hip hop video and they're like, ha ha ha. Um, uh, some some responses are they're actually proud of their criming, then turn into victims in a heartbeat. One response, can Jay-Z sue her for copyright infringement? This is toxic to my health. Uh, another response from Matt Campbell. He's the lawyer who broke this story originally. 
Um, and he's been the one, he was the one who did the public records request. Matt Campbell says, our governor is an unserious child pretending like the auditor's report exonerates her while ignoring that it literally says the auditors have referred the findings to the prosecutor's office. Clown show BS spewing out of the Capitol, just like always. Reverend Rambo, at Reverend Rambo, went through the report and also talked about how Virginia Beckett also paid money to her husband through this uh, lectern gate transaction. Um, David Ramsey writes, um, never mind, no scandal anymore. Sarah Huckabee Sanders has reimagined herself as a hip hop legend. Audit report refuted with a sick animation and sicker beats. You want her podium? Come and take it. Unless it's the feds. Greg Hale writes, everyone in the state of Arkansas, regardless of political party, should be embarrassed. This is how the governor spends her time. Truly amazing. Jim Hendren writes, I miss grownups. I miss grownups also in leadership positions. But MAGA has turned this into such an unserious thing. You know, just to remind you of everything, Matt Campbell did these public records requests back in June, found this $19,000 purchase of a, a lectern. Then Sarah Huckabee Sanders said that, um, you know, uh, she said, oh, well, here's the lectern. Here's the Falcon lectern. And no one's ever seen this lectern ever since. No one thinks this lectern was anywhere near the $19,000. It was just under the reporting limits of $20,000. So Huckabee Sanders, in her own mind, could believe that she could avoid further scrutiny until, of course, Campbell did his public records um, request. Then on further public records request, it was clear that what Huckabee Sanders was doing was that then she ordered her assistants to basically put a notation on the invoices to her best friend, um, Virginia Beckett, and like literally alter the document. Now we also know that there were documents shredded, um, but to alter the invoices to have it say, to be reimbursed, so that the Arkansas Republican Party could step in, then bail Sarah Huckabee Sanders out to reimburse her for the state funds she used to pay her best friend, who she was partying with in Paris, Fortunately, the um, one of the state administrators wrote an email saying, look, I've been asked to do something that I don't feel comfortable doing, basically, and they don't want us to date it. They want us to put a notation that it's to be reimbursed. I've been asked to do something that I don't feel comfortable. I want to make a notation of this for the file. Then there was this independent audit that took place. And now we finally got the report. Sarah Huckabee Sanders delayed it so she could get her MAGA attorney general to write an opinion to say that Huckabee Sanders was basically immune. The legislative audit committee, independent audit committee, came up with this report, making a referral to prosecutors. Sarah Huckabee Sanders posted a video with Jay-Z music joking about this uh, lectern gate fraud. You saw the statement from Tom Mars. You saw the statement from Matt Campbell. That's where things stand. And we'll see ultimately what the feds are doing as well. Here's the final point I want to make to you, though, and I think this is an important one. Don't let the MAGAs wear you down and make you think that a governor can't be held accountable. I know that's how they may make you feel, but there is a long history and tradition of law and order where governors have been and governors and mayors and political leaders have been prosecuted, arrested, and locked up for substantial periods of times for crimes that look a lot like this, similar types of things. So what MAGA wants to do is, is gaslight you and make you feel nothing's going to happen. And in that void, they create to try to get away with it, with all of their crimes. So don't let them do that. We, the people, must demand law and order. And whether you're a real conservative, not this MAGA, liberal, progressive, we need to all unite and say law and order means law and order. And we need to call out this behavior, call out this conduct, and we need to let those who represent us know that this is unacceptable. I'm Ben Micellis with the latest update on Lectern Gate. Hit subscribe. Let's get to 3 million together. Have a wonderful day. Enough! Send it to the big house, not the White House. Get the new exclusive tees, mugs, and stickers right now at store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.